Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Madame DeVoe. Thank you so much for tuning in and for allowing me to be a part of your unique and wondrous experience today. So I'm going to shuffle you guys a crowner for the month. Let's see what's in store for my Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Renewal. So it says, review and evaluate, a favorable assessment of the facts, time to move in a new direction. So I feel that's the energy you're taking on in the month of April, Virgo. You're moving in a new direction. I feel like you're really utilizing that Aries energy to shift your plans, you know, change your direction, and move forward towards a new beginning. Yeah, I feel like you're completely just leaving something in the past and you're just laying something to rest in the month of April. Let me shuffle you guys a heart space crowner for general energy for your heart space in the month of April. Life experience, okay. Beautiful energy. Something very significant is happening for you in the month of April. Um, I do feel like a lot of you are having realizations during this time. You're having revelations. And I think some of you are even coming out of that cocoon that you've been wrapped in for so long. Like, I sense this massive transformation that's been going on within for the past, um, I'm picking up like for some of you, like two years almost. There's just been this extreme transformation that's um, been underway and I do feel like you have been in this cocoon and you're just ready to spread your wings and fly and shine. Beautiful, beautiful energy. But this Eight of Wands indicates that something may be happening, something unexpected may occur for you in the month of April. Especially with this Life Experience card, I feel like something very, very, very significant is gonna happen for you in April. So for some of you, maybe you get a new job and it's your dream job, it's the job you've been wanting since you were a kid. Or for others of you, maybe you meet that perfect partner, the one that you're gonna end up marrying and having kids with, you know what I mean? It's a very, very significant thing is going to happen to you in the month of April. I mean, look at this, guys. You got the Wheel of Fortune too. There's gonna be a shift, a change, transformation that goes on, that continues to go on, because like I said, you've been in this transformative state for almost two years for some of you. I feel like right now you're really nurturing yourself, you're taking care of yourself, taking care of those around you. Some of you are sleeping a lot. You're using this quarantine time to get some freaking rest. That is what I'm seeing here, honey. Mm -hmm. Lots of sleep. Because some of you work so much. And I'm sensing that ever since this quarantine has gone, been going on, you've had more of a chance to go within, go take a nap, you know, so I see a lot of day naps, you know. Some of you are just sleeping in the middle of the day or sleeping until the middle of the day. So some of you are waking up at like 2 or 3 p.m. Maybe even 4 p.m. Some of you are waking up at 4 p.m. But I see this rush of energy coming in for you in the month of April. I feel like you may be, with this renewal card, it's giving me like a second chance. Like you're giving, you're getting a chance to do something in April that maybe you've tried to do before and it comes back. So for some of you, maybe you're thinking about doing a startup, you know, doing a startup business. Maybe you've tried this before and it just didn't work out, or maybe you've been with a certain person and it just didn't work out, you know what I mean? That's gonna be coming back for you to try again. So for some of you, it's, it's in the form of a person 
like somebody's coming back um, or a new person's coming in so you can try love again or something like that you know but I feel like for for some of you it is like a job maybe you've tried to get this job before and your application didn't go through or whatever and now all of a sudden it's coming in for you I have like a hair on my lip okay there it is but you have this fool card here I love this card this is my favorite card in this particular deck it's just look at it it's so beautiful I love it I love the artwork of this deck but this particular card is my favorite she just looks so beautiful Ooh. flower child queen one more time just take a look at it please <laughs> um, but like I was saying, I feel like some of you are releasing something, letting go of something, leaving something behind. And some of you, this is very quick. I pick up a Virgo with Aries in their chart. I sense that you're releasing something in the month of April and just moving forward, moving in a new direction. And the sun is shining. The birds are singing. It's just... You're in such a positive mind space right now, or head space. I love this energy so much that I'm picking up from you, Virgo. It's very, very positive, very free-spirited. You just don't have a care in the world, do you? I can see. I do feel like some of you are walking away from something, though, for sure. Like, you're, you stop something dead in its tracks. Something was moving really quick and you just, you cut that off. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm sensing for some of you, if it was a person you were dealing with, I feel like this person was a headache. You were dealing with somebody who was a headache or you could experience headaches. But I see you completely leaving something behind and walking into this new energy Oh, it's, it's lovely. It really is. But you have this world card and the wheel of fortune. So like I said, I feel like something's shifting, something's changing, especially with this death card here and the eight of wands. You're moving towards new life experiences. And I feel like some of you may be a little conflicted about this because naturally change brings anxiety, um, it brings uncertainty. So I feel like some of you are a little bit conflicted in terms of this new direction that you're going to be moving in, especially if you are a Virgo with fire or air in your chart. I see you feeling very conflicted about this new direction. Maybe you're uncertain if you made the right decision in walking away from this situation, um, but you did. You're moving to bigger and better things, honey. Trust. I'm also hearing don't entertain drama. Don't entertain drama. Some of you, there may be somebody in your life who is starting drama. I'm picking up a fire sign, an Aries possibly. I'm picking up air, um, you know, possibly an Aquarius with the world and the wheel of fortune. And I also have Scorpio. So don't entertain this. It's very petty. I feel like it stresses you out a little bit too, those of you who are dealing with this drama or this conflict. Um, but I do pick up and I do advocate for accountability in my readings. I do pick up that some of you are entertaining this, like you're, you're kind of feeding that fire that keeps the drama alive. So don't, just completely pull back, completely pull back. Because honestly, that's kind of the best, the best method of fighting back with people who are like this, people who are jealous or people who just like to fight, you know, or like to start drama. The best thing to do with those people is just blow them off. They're starting this drama because they want attention. That's what I'm picking up. Like somebody who, if you're dealing with somebody in your life who is very dramatic, um, they're the type of person who entertains drama, they are 
they're they're seeking attention. So if you don't give them what they want, what they're seeking, then they'll go find somebody else to feed off of. Let's just say that. So I'm gonna pull you guys a yoga card. And I do have a new yoga video on my channel if that's something you're interested in. Um, I made a 45 minute vinyasa flow for you guys. Super easy. Um, it's for all levels, but it's catered towards beginners. So if you've never done yoga before and you just want to start in your living room or in your home, check out that video. But I have mountain pose here for you guys. Tadasana is what it's called. Um, but this is a very simple pose, but it requires so much more than just standing. It's about being present. So I think the advice here with this card is to maintain a sense of presence. Don't get caught up in your head. Um, don't get caught up in the future or in the past. You know, try to really, really be in the present moment. And I think that's what you're trying to do this month um, with this Fool card. You're, you're heading towards the top in a certain area of your life, whether it's relationships or whether it's jobs or whatever. You're, you're heading towards a peak point in your life. That's what I'm seeing with this mountain. You know, mountains have peaks. So wherever you're heading towards right now, Virgo, it's good. <laughs> um, but continue to shine and continue to focus on you. You are your number one at the end of the day. But that is what I see here, Virgo. If you'd like to book a personal reading, feel free to DM me or email me. All of my information's in the description box below. And check out my videos, guys. Like I said, I have that yoga video on my channel and I have all kinds of vlogs under that playlist. So I will see you guys later. Take care, Virgo, and have a beautiful rest of your month. Bye-bye.